This is Scott from KIG. It's July 22nd, 2014. And we're going to do a little runoff video of this uh, Turmoil half ton air cooled chiller. Uh, we have all the covers for the unit, but we're going to have it off for this uh, test run. Uh, this unit is um, model OCN 50R, serial number 8321 01, it's a 208 230 volt single, uh, single phase unit. Um, a basic little uh, basic little chiller we've been running and, and testing it. It's got a third horsepower uh, pump here with the impeller. Um, we took the screws off the top of the little reservoir tank here. Obviously we'll put them back on. Uh, that's the uh, thermocouple that hangs in the tank. Um, and the, uh, that's the coil or heat exchanger where the heat uh, removal uh, takes place between the the refrigeration process and the uh, process process fluid. Um, we're going to talk about it a little bit more, but we might as well just go ahead and, and start it up right now. It's a pretty basic uh, basic controller here. Um, let the water start flowing uh, flowing through, and what we're going to do is um, go to our set point down. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to chill it down to about uh, 55 degrees. So that's a differential, um, the two, and you keep that in there. So it's going to uh, default back to the process temp. Right now the fluid's at 70, 76. And we're going to try chilling it down to the 55. So you can see it's starting to chill right now. And it goes back and forth between the set point temp, which you have at 55, and the process temp, which is 75. So this has a basic, uh, basic con um, air-cooled condenser here, blowing the hot air out to the side of the unit and the fan. And that's our little, uh, our little compressor. And that's a positive solenoid shutoff, they call it. Basically, this style unit just keeps uh, the compressor stays on the whole time, and it has a basic like a hot gas bypass, uh, so it doesn't you know once it hits it once it hits the set point. Uh, one note right now, we're running. Um, this is probably about three quarter or half inch lines coming out of the unit, um, and notice that the water pressure gauge you should just be a, a, just slightly above it being um, being zero. If it's, if it's pegging up halfway or more, it means your lines are choking the system too much. If you are running quarter inch lines, you have to have a bypass between the discharge and the return. Um, otherwise, it's going to be strangling the system um, and your pump's going to go into, uh, into overload. That's very important from a process typing standpoint. It's also very simple to do. And when you do a bypass, you should have a shut off, shut off in there. So you can see now we're uh, chilled down to uh, 71. I'll come back uh, for video number two in a second as we start uh, getting down to the set point.